Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. The presidency have finally spoken on the reason why they call for the redesign of uh, the Naira notes. And uh, with the statement they have made, it is perceived that truly there is a coded battle between President Muhammadu Buhari and Bola Ahmed Tinibu, who is the APC presidential aspirant. Don't forget that Tinibu had in Abiyokuta um, rally made Nigerians to understand that the Naira redesign and lingering petrol scarcity were designed to scuttle his chances in the forthcoming 2023 presidential election. But as I'm talking to you, the presidency for the first time have opened up to Nigerians why they decided to redesign the Naira and guess what? Fingers are pointing towards Tinibu and other elites whom Nigerians perceive that they may likely have a vote in their house and they keep so much money that this move is towards something that may be very inimical to their own um, life. But however, let's first of all look because I want you also to draw your conclusions from this. Let's, let's look at what the presidency have to say about this issue. Now, according to the news, the presidency has for the first time made an attempt to explain the idea behind the horrid redesign of some Naira notes, saying it was mainly targeted at frustrating some elite Nigerians who hoard illicit cash. Mm. Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity to the President Gabashi in a statement on Saturday said, contrary to insinuation, it is not targeted at the common man in the streets. According to the presidency, government is not resting on its asses to see the citizens' businesses are safe. It regretted the disruption caused to the entire supply chain arising from the swap, assuring that it is due to end shortly. Recall that since the deadline imposed by the Central Bank of Nigeria, which is due to elapse on the 31st of January, there had been reports of long queues of people waiting for hours for their turn to deposit old notes and get new ones. The development, it has been observed, has triggered public anger and widespread criticism. The currency changes is aimed at people hoarding illicit phone and not the common man. It became necessary to prevent counterfeit corruption and terrorist financing. It will stabilize and strengthen the economy on the long run. He went further to say that the federal government, however, acknowledged that the poorest section of society is facing on two hardships as they often keep hard cash at home for various expenses, but be reassured that the government will not leave them to their own fate. A number of initiatives by the central bank and all commercial banks are currently on the way to speed up distribution of the new notes. We will take all necessary action to forestall cash squeeze and chaos. Those were the words coming from presidency. So now you can see that the main essence of introducing this redesign Naira note is to wage war against elites that are hoarding illicit funds. Now, um, already we, we've heard a lot of people talk, you know, pointing to one direction. And even in the society, you see that there's a lot of things going on pointing to one direction that most people are uncomfortable with this. Um, Central Bank, if you check their tweet now, you're going to see something very striking. They came back to reiterate that there is no change of position because so many people have uh, written to them or have uh, given their speech on media concerning um, a possible shift of that date from 31st to some way better. And that 31st December, uh, sorry, 31st uh, January is too close. But right now, Central Bank said they are not changing their position. And already, to show you that this coded war between Buhari and the ABC presidential aspirant um, is on, based on what um, Bola Metinibu had said some time ago. Don't forget that he told Nigerians that the lingering force scarcity and also the issue of uh, the redesign 
of Naira note was targeted as at his failure. That was what he told Nigerians. And though we've heard that he has gone to see Buhari as a Thursday when the whole issue was booming everywhere. He had to take two or three northern governors to go and see Buhari in Karsina for call it a first serving uh, moves at least to let him understand that the statement he made was not targeted at him. But already this is not the first time this is happening. We've seen countless times where um, the person of uh, Bola Ahmed keep throwing darts at the president and uh, who knows what will happen in the near future. You know, we're told that uh, he went in the company of some, you know, governors of APC as a Thursday night, Aminu Masari, uh, uh, Abubakar Bagudu of KB and Bagana Zolom of Borono State. And for me, I, I know that this is just for him to save his face, but and also to see how he can still get the support of Bola, uh, sorry, Buhari. But already we know that this is not the first time Tinibu, you know, uh, will make controversial statements against President Muhammadu Buhari government. At least I can still remember last year, prior to the APC presidential primary election, he insinuated that Buhari president that he made Buhari president in 2015. He also laid claim to the presidency saying in lock on which means try it's my turn, sorry. The controversial moment also happened in Abiyokuta recently, which I've already told you guys about. So right now, with the presidency coming out to give a statement that this is targeted at the elite, it therefore means that the fight is on. The, 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 the big question is how are the elites going to handle this fight? Because already we have seen a lot of uh, darts thrown at uh, the Central Bank governor concerning this issue. Uh, Senate, senators have been calling him and demanding that he change. But the guy said, man, why would I change in the last interview that he granted? To Nigerians, why would he change his position? Already, they have given 90 days, at least 100 days, for people to come and, you know, exchange their money for the new one. That, But that, unfortunately, the banks are not experiencing the rush that uh, a, 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 a busy and uh, desiring society should give, you know. Just to let you know that uh, it's not about the common man. It's actually the elites. They know where they are keeping this money. And if they bring them out, they will be demanded to deposit it into the account. And when they deposit it into the account, some of them will be so much that the government will call them to explain what did they do to get such an amount of money. And I, I think this move is a very good one because uh, all these uh, inter-house uh, votes that we have been hearing of where people keep huge amount of money in tanks in sewage in septic tanks and all of that i think with this move all of that will be brought to an end well i like to leave it there what's your position do you think that uh, the oh let me put it this way do you think that tinibu is among the elites that president muhammadu buhari is trying to fight let's interact in our conversation thank you